Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to another episode of the Expat Animator. So that is what I'm going to show you how to do today is add some lip syncing to one of your drawings uh, for free. I needed to do a quick lip sync recently and I didn't want to do the lip sync by hand. I've used Adobe's tools in the past to do auto lip syncing, but I haven't been a paid Adobe user for over a year now. And so I was wondering if I could still use uh, one of their tools that used to be free. And so let's go take a look at what that is. It's called Adobe Express. And yes, it's still free and they've added a lot more characters. And one thing that they've added since the last time I was here is they've added the ability uh, to just lip sync a mouth, not a whole character. But when this first launched, I think it was a couple of years ago, uh, I was real excited about this because it was, you just pick a character, you add some audio and it automatically lip syncs it and then you can download the file. But it didn't let you upload your own characters yet. And I still think they're gonna eventually get to that, but it doesn't look like you can do that still. But they have added a lot of extra characters since the last time I've been in here. One of the things that they've added is these mouths uh, without a character. And, and here you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And there are different you know, shapes and, and looks for what you're trying to animate. So let me um, show you the tricks that I use to, you, to get this free lip syncing onto one of my characters. It's not that hard to do, but you will need an Adobe account to be able to download your file. So the first thing we need to do is go to the website, which is new.express.adobe.com slash tools slash animate hyphen from hyphen audio. And if you just Google Adobe Express, you'll, you'll be able to find this link. But anyway, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to switch my background uh, to... Now, you might think, oh, transparent. Let's do transparent. But when you try and download transparent it won't let you download the file. It wants to send you to their other app. So what we're gonna do is we're going to choose a custom color and then we're going to add a custom green in the hex code here. So uh, there's different greens that you can use, but the one I've been using is this one here, 00B13F. So I'm just gonna copy that, come back here, paste that in, hit enter, and that's grabbing a good green screen color that will get knocked out in a good video editor. So now we've got our background. And you know, again, this is basically acting like a transparent background for us. So let's go back to character and then choose a lip or a mouth style that you like. And I kind of tried three different ones. I've tried Mo here, uh, Happy, and I tried Friendly. Because these are all kind of similar to what uh, the style that I want for my traveling gringo character. So let me just show you the results of these after I have, I've done, uh, done this. So let me switch over here. So this first one is Mo. Let me just play that real quick. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to another episode of the expat animator. This next one is called happy. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to another episode of the expat animator. And the last one I tried was friendly. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to another episode of the Expat Animator. So you can kind of choose which style you like, but one thing I, I've noticed with this mouth, Friendly, is it's almost got like a, like a three-quarter turn to it, the way the teeth are built. So if I try and grab that exact frame on the other two, you can see the teeth aren't... You can see that they're, they're more straight on. So I'm going to go with this Friendly mouth, that, uh, but you can just choose you know whatever you like. So let me switch back over here to Adobe Express. So I'm gonna make sure I've got friendly checked and you can resize this to a degree. You can't make it like go off the canvas, but you can make it pretty big and we'll just kind of center it there. And then what you wanna do is you can either record your voice, but what I prefer to do is upload my own audio file. So we can click this and browse for our audio file and then upload it. So let's go ahead and do that now. So if I just click browse, and I'll go grab that file. And I've got a WAV file here that I've already recorded in Audacity. So I'm gonna upload that. And you know, this is all web-based, so we're sending everything uh, to the cloud and then, it, and then downloading it from the cloud. So it's not an app that you download. And I think that's one of the reasons that it's still free. 
I imagine in the future they'll probably start um, charging for this, but my guess is that'll be after they let you add your own characters. But as you can see, I'm still not signed in to my Adobe account. So if you don't have an Adobe account, you'll need to get one. You don't have to pay, but uh, at least have an account so that you can download. Because if you can see here, let's take a look at what it's done. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to another episode of the Expat Animator. And you can see we can we can trim things a little bit here, uh, but this is fine. And so if I download, try to if I try to download right now, it's not going to let me. It basically wants me to sign up for an Adobe account or to sign in. So I can sign in. And as soon as I'm signed in, it automatically downloaded and actually opened it in QuickTime. So we can see that that worked. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And if you want to edit this further, you can edit it in Adobe Express. But what I want to do is I'm going to hit back here. And that's basically it. So I can get out of Adobe Express here. And now I'm going to go into my video editor and I'm going to use Final Cut Pro. And I'm going to delete this mouth just to show you the, the, uh, the way that I bring things in here. So let's go ahead and just bring in that new mouth and here's that file so i'm going to just drop it in here and you can see that it comes with the audio file uh, already and what we need to do now is we need to just knock this green out of the the file so i'm going to use a masking green screen keyer and i'm going to drop that on the layer and now you see that we've got a way big mouth a way too big mouth for the head so i can just come over here hit my transform button and scale this down, move it around and try and get it to look as good as I can on my character. And then I'll hit done. And then it should be ready to play. So let me just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna play this right now. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to another episode of the Expat Animator. So that's it. And uh, now I can export this file and I've got my character animated now this mouth you know we're stuck with the nine mouths that they give us and this is a little bit different than how i would draw this so it's not i'm not super happy with this but in a pinch this can work uh if i just need to do a quick uh, lip syncing for some 2d drawing that i've got is one of those mouths uh, in adobe express might be a quick way to for me to get something lip synced uh quickly and the thing that I do like about the Adobe lip syncing is it's very accurate. Years ago, I used to have to lip sync all of my characters by hand. And it's, you know, it's very time consuming and tedious work. And then eventually, I think my first program that had automatic lip syncing was Toon Boom. And, uh, you know, this is years ago and it worked pretty well, but I still have to go in and adjust to make things uh, look the way I wanted them to. But it would get me like 80% of the way there. And but ever since the lip sync in the, uh, the Adobe suites have come out like character animator and now this Adobe Express, uh, it's almost like 100 percent accurate every time. And if you've ever used Adobe's character animator, the lip syncing in that program is very good and it lets you adjust after the fact also. But personally, I'm fine never hand animating lip sync ever again. So the better these programs get at lip syncing, the happier I am. What I would prefer uh, Adobe Express to do here is, you know, let us add our own characters and or even our own mouths. That would be nice, you know, if I could just do that. And I'd be happy to pay for that. It would be nice if it was a standalone app. And again, I know that Adobe's character animator basically does that. But what that doesn't do is this easy, just drag a piece of audio onto a character and it auto lip syncs. Now, one other thing that Adobe Express does here is it'll animate like blinks and stuff. Let me just change the character here. So this guy's got arms and, and eyebrows and eyes. So let me just show you what this looks like if I preview this. Okay, let's take a quick look. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to another episode of the Expat Animator. So notice how the eyes blink and the arms move and the knees kind of bounce. Uh, all of that is done automatically by Adobe Express. 
And that's, in my opinion, is really cool and something that I don't think um, Adobe's character animator can do yet. I mean, you can make it so that your character can move, but just by adding the audio doesn't do all of the blinks and the and the hand movements and the eyebrow movements and all that kind of stuff. So eventually, the next step of this Adobe Express I see is being able to just build your own character with eyebrows and you know blinking eyes, moving arms and hands and feet, and then you just drop in your audio and it basically animates everything. And then you could go in and and tweak things if you needed to, but this does such a good job just for basic animation that you know that I think to me is the next step in 2D animation is to get somebody to build an app that basically does what this is doing, but with our own characters. So hopefully that comes sometime in the future. But for right now, we're still not quite there. But maybe I'm missing out on something. Uh, you know, there may be a better lip syncing uh, software out there. So if you know of something, put it in the comments and I'll take definitely be taking a look at it. Uh, but hopefully this was helpful for you for lip syncing your own characters. If you want to learn more about animation, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to check out expatanimator.com. That's it for today. Now go animate something.